Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do your daily vibes for March 12th. Keep in mind that the timing is fluid, right? So it is. This could resonate today, could resonate tomorrow, could re resonate in a few days, could resonate yesterday. It is what it is, right? That was like this. Ah, justice reversed. Bad luck, perhaps, or bad karma, bad juju. You could be dealing with somebody who lacks integrity or they're being dishonest with you. They don't want to be held accountable for their actions. There's unfair treatment here, right, with the justice reversed. Bad karma, bad karma. You know, there's always bad karma for not acting with integrity anyway. I mean, it's true. Somebody has been wasting their time sacrificing themselves for a reason. I don't know why. For a lie, perhaps? Somebody has been resisting a change or resisting the struggle and live in some sort of dishonest You know, maybe lying to themselves. I don't know. Sacrificing themselves needlessly for a dishonest situation. Wasting their time. Stalling. Stalling. I don't know why. Stalling for some reason. Ooh. Now this is a fresh start, right? Starting at zero, starting at the very beginning, taking a risk. And that, you know, the hangman reverse is, is, you know, getting ready to take a risk. Maybe somebody has come to the realization, they finally realized that it's time to start over. It's time to stop lying. It's time to stop pretending. It's time to stop, you know, whatever, being dishonest. Woo! Yeah, somebody may be thinking about walking away or thinking about going back to a situation. There's a feeling of unhappiness here, a feeling very emotional, very sensitive, very um, detached, withdrawn perhaps. Somebody may be feeling like they are emotionally unavailable at this time, not feeling very... open to love for some reason shutting down perhaps emotionally somebody may be going through an emotional withdrawal put it that way a lot of a lot of introspection a lot of thinking going on about should I go back should I be honest? Should I tell my true feelings? Should we start over? Should I start over? Should I take a risk? Mm. Ooh, underneath the justice card, somebody may have thrown away a big huge opportunity or they may be throwing it away it keeps falling out of my hand doesn't it I mean what is this tried to fall out a couple times and it's something is falling away something is falling away and somebody may be realizing that it, it's time to you know take a risk before it's actually gone keeps falling out of my hand. It keeps falling away, falling away. Something is falling away. A big, huge, huge, huge opportunity is slipping away because of somebody's inaction, their inability to just open their heart or follow their heart or take a risk. Somebody's fear is driving them 
and therefore they're not getting the what they deserve they're not getting well maybe they are if they're dishonest with themselves but anyway somebody is needing to bring balance back to their lives there's an opportunity to bring balance back and to perhaps accept an opportunity but they're not accepting it because of fear because they're thinking too much Oh, wow, yikes, yikes. Um, whew. You know, death, we have death here, right next to the emperor, reversed. The death, death is an ending, it's a, it's a transformation, it's a transition. I feel like there's an ending that has happened or it is happening. The death, death is the end. It's the end. It's the end of a phase. It's the end of a situation. It's over. Something is ending, okay? It's a release. So if somebody is thinking about, because the Eight of Cups reversed is thinking about some, thinking about releasing, thinking about ending something, thinking about starting over as well, because endings bring new beginnings. So somebody is really thinking, this card is thinking about, you know, taking a risk and going in a new direction that's what somebody that's what's on the horizon for today um somebody has been trying to control i mean the emperor reverse somebody has been trying to control something clinging to control there's probably some anger there's probably um a loss of concentration and a loss of focus maybe there's been some manipulation here I feel like somebody has been trying to basically control their emotions, control, because you've got to always go see what's mirroring each other, control their feelings. Somebody's been control, been trying to control how they feel, but perhaps now it's they have to take a risk because something is actually really truly ending because they aren't being truthful with themselves about how they truly feel. Because of ego and pride, the emperor is very egotistical. No offense to you emperors out there. Um, especially in reversed, okay? Somebody um, is thinking about... An ending that they have been dishonest about and you can you can decipher that one it's like they don't want it to end that's what I see they don't want it to end but it's ending because they didn't take action they stayed stuck they wasted time they uh, were confused you know they let their confusion get in the way and now it's like their wish fulfillment their happiness their blessing is slipping away it is slipping away. You always got to see what's more mirroring. The opportunity is like just about gone, okay? I would have to say it could already be gone. It, it is. And it's a terrible injustice. It is because when the justice reversed, it's an injustice. And it's an injustice to let such a big opportunity slip out of your hands. Somebody has let an opportunity slip away because of their un inability to be honest, their inability to express their feelings, their inability to open their heart, their, their fear of taking a risk, their lack of communication. Somebody didn't want to communicate how they truly felt, trying to control, trying to manipulate, trying to, you know... prove something perhaps anyway i feel over that star card there's a lack of there's a lack of peace and there's a lack of peace there's a lack of healing there's a lack of wish fulfillment because somebody could not face their own illusions you know their own fears their own confusion and now it's like now they see right now they see the light now they've been enlightened but it's like it's too late that's it's a little too late and perhaps they realize it's too late. It's it's too late. It's this has already ended. It's ended. So 
I feel like we have an ending here. We have it. We do. I mean, this is an ending. The death card is an ending. It's a time of transition. It's a time of release. Somebody is thinking about going back to something perhaps that has already ended. I'm not sure if that's the case for everybody, but this is thinking about going back um, or thinking about leaving, thinking about actually ending an emotionally unfulfilling situation. Some of some this, cause this is for thousands of people, right? Everybody has different situations. Some of you are thinking about a divorce. You're thinking about, it's time for this to end. It's time for me to get a divorce. There's no wish fulfillment here. There's nothing solid. There's nothing stable. There's nothing long-term. There's nothing practical about this for some of you. Some of you are like, you know what? It's time. It's time for me to start over in a new direction. It's time. It's time for me to get unstuck from this lie that I've been living in. So that's the case for some of you. For some of you, you have a big new beginning here. Endings bring new beginnings. At the very end of this decision that you are about to make, there is a new beginning, okay? But there's anger. There's anger and loss of concentration and loss of focus because, you know, there's pain. There's hurt. This is hurt. This is emotional withdrawal. You know, this is um, intense. I feel it. I mean, here I am rubbing my heart again. I feel like somebody is feeling some intense emotions over a loss, you know, intense emotions over a loss. And, and now, you know, they may have gone through a period of giving up hope that, you know, they would ever have a new beginning again. But we do have a new beginning here because endings bring new beginnings. So I really feel as though somebody is going through a major life change right now, um, and they're thinking about what the next step is. Do I go do I go back or do I move forward? So hmm. do I truly let this end? Do I accept this ending or do I be honest with myself and follow my heart? So I, I don't know. I don't know what that's for, who that's for, but somebody is blocking a fresh new start because of fear. Confusion. Ego, pride. Oh my God, there's a soulmate connection here. There's a soulmate connection here. It's a perfect, there's a perfect match. These are a perfect match. Somebody has been left out in the cold and somebody is now realizing that this is a perfect match. It really is a perfect match. They come to this realization that This is the one. <laughs> oh my God. So I really feel as though, you know, there's an opportunity for two people to come together after somebody else is left out in the cold. Do you know what I mean? With that five of coins, somebody is beginning to realize that I know, very intuitive. These are both very intuitive. I know who the one is. I know that this is the one, and I have to take a risk. Both of these people feel the connection, okay? There's a connection between two people. Somebody's being dishonest with themselves. They have been dishonest in the situation, and it's like the opportunity is slipping away. And it's, it's time, it's time, it's time, it's time to go. It's time to take that risk. It's time to follow your heart. So I really feel like today is a day where there is an opportunity
to actually face your fears and take that leap of faith. That's replace fear with faith. You need to find your ability to take a risk and follow your heart. Whatever that is, whoever that is for you. I don't know who this reading is for. But there are two people here that are absolutely perfect for each other. And it's like... They both have to let go of their ego. They both have to let go of their pride to come together. It's like they're, they won't be happy without each other. There's like, you know, lack of wish fulfillment. They know. They know. These people, they both know. They both are very highly intuitive. They both know that the, each, the other one is the one. They both know it. They know it. They know it. But somebody has shut down emotionally and they're not communicating. Not communicating, shut down emotionally. They, they, they left somebody in the cold, you know. They pushed them away. And now it's like the opportunity, like I said, has fallen out. It's fallen out of my hands a couple... It's <coughs> Probably being given to somebody else. That's my guess. So anyway, um, I really feel as though we have a major new beginning here. That's what the death card really is. It's a major new beginning. It's a card of release. So that you can begin again. Letting go of the old. Starting over. And we definitely have starting over here. I feel like we have a brand new beginning. Starting at zero. For two people. That are absolutely positively meant to be together. But somebody is unable to master their emotions to actually communicate. So that's an issue. That's an issue. They're thinking about it. Somebody is thinking about communicating, but they may be worried about what everybody else is going to say, say because the emperor reversed down here is very society driven, very much worried about what the kingdom is going to say, you know, very worried about what, you know, his followers are going to say, you know, that's pride and ego. That's pride and ego. Who gives a shit what they say? Your heart is what matters. They don't live your life. That's that's being dishonest with yourself. Karma's a, that's if you don't act with integrity and follow your true heart, you know, do what's right for you, then there's consequences. You think about the justice system, there's consequences for not acting with integrity. So, hey. Who gives a shit what the neighbors think? Who gives a shit what anybody thinks? Your friends, your family, it's about what you want. They don't live your life. Why would you let something big, huge slip away? The biggest opportunity of a lifetime slip away because of what everybody else thinks. Who gives a shit? So I feel like somebody is making a decision, perhaps. They're thinking about following their heart. But they're really worried about... being rejected and what everybody else is going to say. And there's the decision. Somebody's making a decision. You ready to face your fears or not? That's that's the question. Scorpio here quite a bit. Pisces and Cancer. Aquarius. Libra. Aries. Everybody else is here too. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Capricorn. 
Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius. Chemistry. Yeah, that's for damn sure. I can see it. I feel it. There's a strong magnetic attraction here. Why would you deny it? One more. Ooh, codependency. Addictions are affecting your romantic life. Somebody may be trying to escape the reality of what really is with drugs, alcohol, whatever. I feel like somebody knows that they are losing an opportunity because they don't have the ability to follow their heart. But in all reality, there's still time. There's time to start over. There's, there's time. There's time to come together with whoever this person is. Somebody is about to face their own darkness. Perhaps take a risk. And start over with... A true love connection. I'm serious. This is a true love connection here. But you, you can't let your fears and lack of faith get in the way. And definitely don't let anybody choose your fate. Whatever ending that has happened or is happening, because this is an ending, is bringing two people together that are meant to be, period. I hope this reading is for you. Good luck.